Okay, so I am doing this vlog on a quote that is on page 46 of Jim Morris's novel, Conundrum. And the quote says, For I was in my early 20s now, and the older I grew, the more objectively I realized when I allowed myself the melancholy thought that I would rather die young than live a long life of falsehood. A falsehood to whom, you may ask? Since I was to all appearances, unequivocally, a man, a falsehood to me. So that is like three sentences, um, and it's a part of a paragraph. Doesn't stand out by itself. But anyways, some points that I noticed in these couple of sentences. Um, I noticed that there are six eyes in the three sentences, and um, she also uses some words in the sentences that are like a little more light and sing-songy and it's like objectively melancholy and um, there's one more unequivocally and I think that's like a contrast of like all the eyes which can be like really weigh the thing weigh, weigh the sentences down um, and like kind of holds her accountable I'll talk about that a little bit more later um, I also noticed that there's a lot of contrast in the lines, um, so I saw that she talks about, um, she uses the word unequivocally later on in the, in the sentences, and then close to that she uses appearances, so unequivocally means like clear, and then appearances would mean like, um, like on the surface, so a little bit more vague, whereas clear is pretty like direct and it's supposed to mean clear. And then it also me also is close to the word falsehood, which she uses the word falsehood three times, um, and so it's like kind of contrasted with falsehood and appearances as to like as falsehood as a more um, like lie deep thing and clears just very to the point. So yeah, that was a theme of the sentences that I wanted to bring up, and that had kind of that theme had kind of led me to. The claim that I wanted to make. So, just some background. So, the claim that I'm going to make is that although in these sentences Jan is saying that she would be um, lying to herself and she seems to be blaming herself for um, continuing to live this falsehood, uh, live as a man and actually would want as wanting to be a woman. Um, but I would argue that she is actually should she's actually just blaming society and um, lying to society by staying by if she were to stay a man in, instead of change into a woman. Sorry, that was a little bit. Um, so the reason some reasons I argue this or the reasons I think this. Her apparent use, six times she uses the word I, and it's almost like she's blatantly throwing the word I in your face, which immediately tipped me off. Like, why is she using it so many times? And it's like, why is she using I so many times in the responsibility of changing her body to look like a woman? Um, and I just think, why would, why would someone change their body to look like something else? And I think a part of that is, yeah, you're changing it, because you want that for yourself but like something this big I feel that she's a lot of her is changing it so others can see her the way that she wants to be seen and um so that makes me think that's why she used I so many times it's just a tool to point fingers at society um it's to point fingers at society should like be seeing her this way when they're not and instead of her having to change they should be the ones who have to change so she's not actually lying to herself she's just or blaming herself she's more so blaming society and I saw that through the use of so many eyes in the sentences and then the other thing that I pulled out from the sentences was um, later in the, I think the second sentence she says I was to all appearances unequivocally a man and what stood out to me is that she used the word appearances in unequivocally unequivocally 
um, right next to each other. And like I was saying, appearances are very like vague and it means like on the surface or like it doesn't, you're not really getting deep into what that, deep into what it is. It's a very surface level and unequivocally is like very clear, like clear means like you see, ex you see it for exactly what it is. Um, and, um, I was just thinking that, like, I think there's something to the fact that she used both of those together, but I'm not exactly sure, I, I haven't really formed that entire thing exactly sure why she did that, but I think that her using the word appearances shows that she only, she knows that people only saw her as, um, like, what they saw of her person, like, on the surface of what she looked like but she never actually really let others in she never really let others see any deeper than that she only really had one person that was she was really close with and that was elizabeth so <laughs> she's blaming society um for not allowing her to ever show more that's what i got out of that pair that that it's kind of like this is all you ever saw was me on the surface and you never like look deeper than that. So yeah, that is all I have. Thank you.